the South African Airways uh, has cancelled flights between New York and Johannesburg due to effects of bad weather. The weather has caused a, quite a congestion at the JFK airport. The eastern United States was slammed by the massive winter storm early on Thursday morning. A monster bomb cyclone storm that battered the U.S. east coast this week is creating economic hardships. The eastern uh, United States is experiencing record-breaking low temperatures following a powerful blizzard. Weather forecasters said uh, temperatures in New York reached an all-time low. They added that wind chills could make it feel as, a, as though cold as, as minus 42 degrees Celsius in parts of the country. The so-called bomb cyclone winter storm wreaked havoc in the region during the last three days, killing at least 22 people. It brought with it heavy snowfall, giant waves and flooding. Now, for more on this story, we are joined by SAA spokesperson Tladi Tladi. A very good afternoon to you, Tladi. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, can you confirm for us uh, that the SAA has cancelled flights between New York and Joburg? Uh, good afternoon, Simpu, and good afternoon to your viewers. Yes, we confirm that is the case. Your intro has summarised the situation that uh, we are dealing with uh, a situation that is out of our making here. We are, in the first instance, had to deal with uh, the adverse weather conditions and secondly had to deal with uh, the severe congestion at the JFK International Airport um, that resulted in us uh, cancelling the flight. If you look at the situation in the last four days, we cancelled flights on Thursday. We were able to operate on Friday. However, and regrettably, we couldn't operate yesterday, Saturday, and today as well, we had to cancel flights. So we are trying everything possible in order to, uh, to mitigate and minimize the impact of uh, the inconvenience that is caused to our passengers. And the one way of doing so is to communicate as timely as possible to our passengers so that they are also able to consider um, their options. But we are also pursuing a, num a number of options from our side in order to assist our passengers. And speaking of uh, minimizing the impact of uh, this of this current developments, has any arrangement been made, uh, not like alternative traveling arrangement with the SAA customers? Those are the issues that would. Um under such circumstances would uh, automatically um, activate. Um, a part of the procedures that we have in place when faced with situations of this nature is to present a few options to our customers, one of which would be an option for pas uh, passengers to, to rebook. That means that they would uh, consider a future travel date other than the date that is uh, part of uh, uh, what is reflected on their ticket. The second option is for them to reroute their travel in other ways they would travel from a different location and route to their, to their final destination. In this instance, as you may be aware, we fly to two points in the United States. We fly to, to New York and to Washington, D.C. So for those passengers who are stuck in, um, in New York, who are able to, to be facilitated to, to Washington, D.C., and where there's uh, availability of flights and seats, we will be able to accommodate them on SAA flights without them incurring additional costs in the form of penalties. And uh, the third option that is also associated with that has to do with uh, upgrading our aircraft we normally operate a, a right gauge of aircraft to, to Washington, D.C. based on the demand. But based on what is happening, we are deploying a bigger aircraft so that we are able to accommodate more passengers uh, from the United States who are uh, flying back to, to South Africa. Will customers be refunded, I mean, those who wish to cancel their flights altogether with SAA and then seek to use other, other airlines, will they be refunded? Customers would be um, uh, refunded uh, uh, subject to the conditions that is conditions that are attached uh, to the class of tickets that they purchased. There are different buckets of uh, of, uh, of tickets when you purchase a, a, a ticket, and each ticket has conditions that are attached. But as a general rule, passengers do get refunded subject to the conditions. If one has to be brief in response to your question. I know it may be difficult to say at this point, but uh, can you give us a hint of uh, when things will normalize? We are in constant liaison with the, the authorities in the United States. What made it possible for us to, uh, to operate on Friday was based on information that we received from, from the relevant authorities that said that, uh, one, the weather is clear, and two, SAA's slot 
uh, is, is secure, which is part of uh, the, the, the complexity of mix when you operate an airline. So we are able to operate on the basis of that. But the information that we have received, especially uh, when you consider the flight that was able to operate uh, from Johannesburg on, on Friday to arrive in the U.S. on Saturday, is the one that made us realize that the situation is, is, is more serious and is complicating the lives of many people than we can imagine. So the information that we have at this stage is that we need to be in touch with them for them to give us a confirmation as to when we should be able to resume. But at the moment, the last message that we received was that they were not going to allow any operators or carriers to fly into JFK until they have cleared the backlog. So the situation has to do with the clearing the backlog at the airport and not necessarily the inability or unwillingness on the part of the airlines to operate. All right, Tladi Tladi, thank you so much for joining us. That was a SAA spokesperson, Tladi Tladi, just briefing us about uh, uh, the cancellation of flights between New York and Johannesburg as a result of the blizzard that has uh, plagued New York City.